welcome to Jones Battle Desert Adventures, day four. Now we're on my mates, uh, Darren and Rob's permission today in Thursk. Uh, and so we're hoping to find uh, some interesting things on this particular field, because I think there was a market on this, so we don't know what's going to happen, we just hope it's going to find something. Oh, oh, no, no, oh no, ah, I know what that is. It's off of oh, one, great. Two, three, yeah, 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 yeah. Let me just get it all on. Right. I'll get my fingers on this one. Now, look at that. Just, just in case you know what that is, that's a pocket watch uh, winding key. Probably Victorian or uh, early. It's got a brooch. One, oh, that's okay. That's all right. Oh, that's cracking. Look at that. So, there is something in this field. Uh, I think that's Victor a Victorian brooch, just brass really, just brass. Yeah. But still, that's a but good sign. A really clear signal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, cracking, that's really good. Brilliant, mate, good, so. Uh, this is what we found in Thursk, which is, you know, as you know, is a, uh, uh, a pocket watch uh, key winder. So, that's probably something like, uh, 18 to 20th century, early 20th century, and more recently, that's it, yeah, there you go, spectacle buckle, half of it's missing, so that's about 17th to 18th century, that's that. Now, the rest of the coins, which are quite modern, um, I found up in Thirsk on a just in the corner of a field, which is <laughs> the modern one pence, and two pence, tw 20 pence, and five peas. And that was it, really. So I've just been on this field now, this double field, and all I found is those a spectacle buckle, a uh, Victoria Fenne. Can't see the day, you probably see the day, I'm not really sure there. Uh, Victoria Fenne. Good, aren't it? Cheers for the invite. Yeah, that's no problem. Uh, anytime we'll meet up again, I'm sure imagine. We're gonna... New field. Brother's got at his back, I think. He's just, just in the caravan and silver. Silver six one needs clean up. But that is William the Fourth. Probably 18 1825. Sixpence silver. William the Fourth. So I've only been here 10 minutes and uh, on this new field, straight away silver. Well, perfect, absolutely brilliant. So I'm hoping that it's not the, the rain is going to hold off. It's just absolutely huge is this field. And we're next to a river, river's just beyond those trees. Uh, another side of that, the bushes over there, is the town called Albora, which is a Roman town. Yeah, I've just been on that uh, field up and down, up and down, and, and my uh, thoughts were that there's some activity on this on this edge here. Yes, I'm right. The, uh, George III, uh, half penny, half penny, which uh, is blank really, it, it's blank, you know, nothing, yeah, I know it. It's chucking it down. I'm, I'm breaking off a dinner bit, but this is this is interesting to find. What well, Look at this. I mean, um, if you can see this, I'll just try to get some muck off it. But when I saw this, I, I couldn't believe it. But there you go. Can you can you see that steam train in brass? Some sort of plaque, I think. I'm not quite sure, but it's amazing. It middle of, middle of a field. What the heck is that doing in the middle of a field? But a steam train in the middle 
uh, of uh, you know you can see smoke coming out and everything that's 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 really nice you know i didn't expect that um, i've just literally come back here uh, there was raining in the afternoon it's evening now uh, and so um literally come on my brother's over there somewhere he's detecting near the car so i'm the other side of the field anyway i think it's a late victoria because she's got the black veil and you know that was that the black veil that she wore because she was in mourning for her husband who died a lot earlier and she spent most of her the latter end of her life with the black veil uh mourning the um the death of her husband prince albert i'm doing this tree line down here at the moment going down this field huge field absolutely huge i think it's 40 acres or 50 acres uh, our ken's over there you might just be able to just see with the dog so he's over there uh, by those buildings there's a hall uh, 18th century hall over there and then uh, the rivers over there i mean we're in the ancient land there's no doubt about it just look cracking we'll have a bit of that <laughs> so that's what i found medieval spindle world just ready for his fish and chips now aren't we ken fish and chips supper coming up fish and chips supper relax till tomorrow morning and let's just do it we'll come come up with something 